Hey guys, what is going on? It's Mark from Modern Tech and today I'm going to show you how to download EMU Deck on your Steam Deck and you need absolutely nothing but the Steam Deck to do this. If you are unaware what EMU Deck is, that is the most optimal way to play your emulators on the Steam Deck. Yes, it can run pretty much anything from Sega Mega Drive, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, all the way up to GameCube, Wii and PlayStation 2. So if you want to learn how to do that, then stick around and I will show you as it is actually reasonably simple. I will try to make this a quick one so I'm not wasting people's time. But once you get onto your Steam Deck, you want to hold the power button at the top and switch to desktop mode. Once you're in desktop mode, you're going to want to open the browser. The default browser that comes on the Steam Deck is already Firefox. So open up that if you have it there. And then for the website, you want to type in EMU Deck. Com. Once you are on the EMU Deck website, you'll probably have to accept cookies like on most other websites. But you want to click onto the download button in the top corner. And then when that loads, you want to click on download installer. This should download it directly to your Steam Deck. You should see your download at the top right of your screen if you're on Firefox. And then you want to right click it and click open folder. So when you go to this folder, I decided to drag the install EMU deck to my desktop. But you don't have to do that. You can do it directly from the downloads file. But I like to know where it is and have it visible. When you click on the install folder, it's going to tell you that it is going to install and it ask you to continue. All you do is click continue and it will go through the installation process. Now, I must warn you, it will probably take about 10 minutes to do this. But once it is done, it is done. I'm not going to bore you and make a 20 minute long video so you can sit there and watch a download. So I'm going to skip to the end of the download phase. Once the download is then finished, it will take you to the welcome to EMU deck page. And when everything is ready, you will then get two options and one of them will be easy mode and the other one will be custom mode. Easy mode is a basic setup where it does everything for default settings, whereas custom mode is still an easy setup in my eyes and just gives you a few more options. So in this video, we are going to go for custom mode just because it has a few options where you can have things like widescreen mode which is very good so we select custom mode and it takes you to select your rom directory you can have this from the internal storage or you can have this from your micro sd card i personally have it on the micro sd card so i'm going to select that and then click continue then it asks us to select the device and obviously you're on a steam deck so click steam deck and then click continue then you'll be greeted with a list of different emulators which are going to install if you don't like any of these you can just turn them off i personally don't want any switch emulators because i manually use yuzu on this so I've turned them off but everything else for me is good to go on the next page you'll be given the same list of emulators but the option to have auto updates I just clicked continue on this now this is where the custom settings actually come into place and the first one is the configuration of auto save you can have it auto save when you exit older systems like Atari Game Boy SNES etc I personally don't have that on but if you want auto save on when you exit the game click on and then click continue now if you have an account for retro achievements you can sign in there and then you can get retro achievements on your Steam Deck I'm gonna skip this step because I do not have one of them accounts all of these are pretty much personal preference I personally don't want any game bezels game bezels are like a little background rather than having just black bars behind it which some people do like and it does look pretty cool but for me I'm gonna turn it straight off and then for pretty much most systems in general, it's going to let you choose an aspect ratio. And it says the system list on the right, which this affects. And personally, I tend to go for the bigger screen because the Steam Deck screen is not massive and nothing looks overly stretched. Going through the next few settings, just take your time and have a think what you would prefer for your system emulation. For the emulation station theme, it doesn't really matter. You can have it how you like, but I personally don't even use emulation station. I boot most of the games through Steam OS anyway, so that doesn't really bother me. And the next section gives you a list of homebrew games which you can manually install through EMU Deck. I personally don't want any of these homebrew games, so I'm just going to click no and continue going forward. The next slide is pretty much just a confirmation slide where it shows you all the emulators you've chosen to install and your settings. All you do is click continue and then you're going to have to wait about, I'm going to say about 15 minutes for all your emulators to be installed. After all the installation is done, it will then teach you how to add games to this. So all you do is you find 
find the folder where it's saved so because i saved this to my sd card that is called primary on my steam deck so i go to my primary section and i look into the emulators folder and then it says roms and in the roms folder you have a list of all the different consoles that you have just installed and all you simply do is drag the game file into that folder as you can see in my gc folder which is the gamecube emulator i've dragged in three games there and they are now loaded onto the emulator now if you want to get these games running on your steam os which i assume you do you want to click on your emu deck file which has just been installed that should for me it's on my desktop but it might actually be next to where your package was if it's not on your desktop once the emu deck is open you want to click at the bottom where it says tools and stuff from this section you are going to click steam rom manager and this is basically the bread and butter of this thing now at first it might look a bit daunting because there is quite a lot going on but basically it's got all the individual emulators at the side and it's green whether it's active and these are basically where you do things like change your ROM directory but don't worry we are not going to do any of that. Now we actually have some games put onto our ROM folder you want to click preview at the top of this. When you click preview at the very bottom you will see generate app list once you do this it will start searching through all of your emulators and all of your games that you have installed and it will give you a nice image for them all you have to do to confirm these settings is click the save app list which is at the bottom right next to the generate app list please make sure you do click save app list otherwise they will not work now at this point you pretty much have most of your systems working there's one quick thing to mention that some of the most modern emulators such as the PlayStation 2, PS3 emulators will require BIOS files and to get the BIOS files you can simply search them on Google because they are legal to find from the official developers websites. I'm going to leave no links for these in the descriptions and there is no way I'm going to leave any links to get ROMs so if you want to have to get any ROMs for these please do this on your own accord. For the older systems like Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo, Wii, even GameCube, yeah, those ones don't actually require a BIOS file, so you are good to go from there without any additional downloads. Next to the folder where you actually have your ROMs, there should be another folder called BIOS. And in this BIOS folder, this is where you will put in all your BIOS for systems such as PlayStation 2. All you simply do is drag in your downloaded file and then everything is good to go. If this video is helping you or has helped you in any way possible then please let me know in the comments and please consider a like and a subscribe to my channel as I'm really trying to push YouTube this year. This year is going to be the year that we finally get monetized so come on people let's go let's hopefully build something together. It's Mark from Modern Tech thanks for watching.